So let's get to that garage. And back to Jaden. And the drugs. What has happened to him now? Can you start game? I've earned the trophy VIP. And agoraphobia. I guess Killer that's fair of the crowds. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Can you change Very that thing? And where does all that get us? I will be aggressive. It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Continue, Jaden. Do profiling. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about ten square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be ten thousand people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? I will be aggressive. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake? If you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. Okay, rainfall. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Go for it. Blake, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing! Absolutely fucking lootly nothing! What, well, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Yep. Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. You can throw a ball pretty well. Go for it. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! Oh. That's enough. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Oh. Three days. Why am I with Blake? I shoot him. Do I have a, have a gun that I can shoot him with? No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. The fact I'm that you sure broke that open the door leader. doesn't change whether or not someone is home. Call the cops. You serious, Blake? You do not know 
the difference between someone being at home and someone breaking in. Looks like Nathaniel. It's not your home, therefore guy. no one is at home. He's Just because you broke in. An idiot, waiting for the end of the world. Oh. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. Okay, well, a, real, a fanatic could be a good suspect. And this uh, idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist, I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twist. Okay, he has a lot of medication. And what's on his bed here? No idea. Uh, what's this? A book? And that was all. Can I check his shrine? I can. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. No, it simply means that he left not too long after he lit them, and they haven't melted all the way down. It doesn't mean that he'll be back soon. What's with you and breaking down doors, Blake? Can I kill him now? I want to pick a lock. It's a much harder... or It's a way that's much harder to detect when you are breaking it. Simply breaking the door leaves your footprint, so they know what shoes you are wearing. And it also shows them that there are... Have actually been someone breaking in. Think a little before you kick. This guy has a lot of crosses. Oh, there he is. There is another cross. Hi. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Hmm. Arrest. You were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. I really believe you. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. And how often does that happen? Every half year or so? Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? The, the word we that talk wasn't in the subtitles. Well, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak. That name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? Blake, I don't like talk it. About it. You mustn't talk about it. Uh, by the way, I want to, he you to go listen to his reaction. Prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! Not really. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? Oh. No! 
By the way, Blake, you're annoying. I want to kill you. Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I shall Daniel. Put you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! I will wait until he is shot. Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Hmm. Listen. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Shoot him. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To get rid of the voices in your head. But you have to trust me. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Shoot! Order him! Enough, Nathaniel! Put the gun down! Immediately! Back off. Back away. Slowly. Oh, don't tell him to back off. Can you shoot them? Or if you are not going to shoot, then I am. I... I shot him. Yes, you did. Yep. Looks like you did. I wanted him to shoot, Blake. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Why didn't he shoot Blake? I really wanted him to shoot Blake, because he's annoying. But I guess he didn't want to. You are really tempting me to gouge your eyes out, Shelby. You are far too slow on the loading loading screen. And what's this blunder? A blunder bus? Eleven seventy six. They have many houses in this town. Ooh, it's a baby. Uh, okay, that's what I need to do to open the door. No, to knock on it. No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Hmm. Can I kick it? So Shelby does not take after Blake. I guess I'll have to find another way in. A window, maybe. Or a back door. Ha ha! There's a back door. And I can't go through the plants. They are too solid for me. And you forgot to look. In the back door, whoever you are in here. It's a little note. So, what do we have here? Oh, Jesus. It's too hard. I can't stand them. Take care of my baby. Okay, I'll take care of the baby. Can I kill it? Hello, little cutie. Oh, you looking for your mama? 